Hello everyone and welcome back to Chardé Crochets. For this tutorial we will be making this really pretty, beautiful bikini. I love it so much. It's super sexy. And I just wanted to give some notes about this tutorial before we get into it. So, this is not how it was intended to fit. The mannequin is a size small. My friend that I made it for is a medium. So, it's definitely got more coverage on the mannequin as is because it's a bigger swimsuit. So, the way it's supposed to fit, the way it's going to fit is this will be more open on the sides. This will have uh, more uh, openness as well here. And that's pretty much the main difference between the fitting. So, if you want it to fit like this, which I actually do like very much. Um... If you want more coverage, you can uh, do two, uh, two to four more stitches in this back panel. So I tell you to, to split your waistband in half, do that, and then add like two to three more, two to four more um, stitches in the back, and then it'll have more coverage like this. And also, um, you can play with the, the height of the cleavage at your own leisure. I have suggestions for that, but you can definitely have it higher or lower. Um, this is high for a B cup. This is supposed to be a double B. So, um, I do kind of like it up that high too. And then if you don't want to do the thong back, you can mirror the front here by doing, uh, the same amount of skinny rows with no increase or decrease. It's like a row of, um, nine or 11 double crochets. So you would just repeat the same amount that you did in the front. And then start increasing the same amount of rows that you decreased in the front. So that way you'll be doing that skinny part low. And then you'll increase as you come up the back. And that'll give you more of a Brazilian cut with better coverage. And then I used, I love this cotton. I used black, red, green, and yellow. And it's a, a medium weight four yarn. I used probably about 750 yards for this medium. And um, I used a D hook, which is a 3.25 millimeter hook. And I know it's a less common hook. So if you really want to use, if you don't have that hook and you want to use an E hook, which is a 3.5, I think more people have that hook. If you want to use that hook, then you could make some adjustments. I would do one less row of this uh, straight up and down panel here. One less row if you're using the E hook. Probably would need one less row of this uh bra part, bra top part, and then one less row down here, I would probably just take away one of the rows with the 9 or 11 double crochets, which is kind of like in the middle there. Um, do one less row of those, and then one less row of the uh, skinny part of the thong. So yeah, one less row here, one less row in the bottom of the front, one less row here, and one less row here, and then you can use your e-hook. Other than that, let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna start off by making our ribbing, and I've already made mine, and I made it in black, so I wanted to show you how to make this ribbing in another color, just because black is sometimes hard to see on camera. First thing we're gonna do is make a slip knot, and then I'm gonna chain out um, 18 chains. So 1, 2, 3, 16, 17, 18. And now we're going to work on our slip stitch ribbing. So the first thing you want to do is skip this very first stitch and then we're going to slip stitch into the second chain from the hook just in that upper loop like we normally would work into. So insert your hook into that loop pull up a loop and we're going to kind of pull that loop up a little bit higher just to make sure that it's not going to be very tight. So pull your loop up just slightly and then slip stitch. And then we're going to do that all the way across in every stitch. So insert into the next stitch, pull up a loop and pull it up a little bit and then slip stitch. So it looks, it's kind of like a stitch you're going to have to get used to. But just take your time if you're new at this. And we're going to do that all the way across. So I'll meet you at the end of this row. Okay, and when you get to the end of the row, you should have 17 
slip stitches in this row. From here we're going to chain one and turn. And make sure that you're working into the right place. These are the stitches and they're not in the front. It kind of looks like they're in the front. But you can follow from where this chain one is coming out of and you'll see where the stitches are coming from. So chain one and turn. And now we're going to do back loop only slip stitches. So we're going to skip that turning chain and then insert our hook into that first stitch but into the back loop only and pull up a loop and pull that loop up a little bit higher just to make sure that it's not a super tight slip stitch because if you do your slip stitches tight they'll be difficult to work into so we're just going to do back loop only slip stitches all the way across And I will meet you at the end of this row. Okay, so once you get to the end of the row, we're going to chain one and turn. And then we're going to just be repeating row two. So we're going to skip that first turning chain and then continue to do back loop only slip stitches. And making sure that we're doing loose slip stitches and as you continue doing this it'll get a lot a little bit faster for you especially if you're new at the stitch it might take a little bit of time to get used to but you will get used to it it just takes a little bit of time so we are going to continue doing um, these rows of 17 back loop only slip stitches and I will say I'll show you something once we get to the end of this row okay so now I'm almost at the end of the row and it looks like I might only have one left but I actually have two sometimes this last one in the corner is harder to see so just make sure that you are hitting that very last stitch um, for me, I would have to like dig that loop out of there sometimes because it would be in there tight. That's just how mine's was looking. So I just wanted to warn you that it's very easy to skip your very last stitch of the row. So just make sure, see how it's kind of folded there. So when I get back around to it, I'd have to dig that little piece out there for that last stitch. So um, just something to be mindful of. Make sure you have 17 in every row, 17 slip stitches. And so we're gonna continue that pattern until your waistband can stretch out to your hip measurement. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold uh, the, the side with the tail over the side with the loop, okay? And I did mine with my D hook, so I'm going to do these slip stitches with my D hook. So I'm going to chain one and turn on that last row that I did, and then fold um, the side with the tail on top. And then I'm just going to insert my hook into that very first stitch. Try to find that corner stitch there, and then find the very first stitch of the other side. Inside. And then I'm going to go into the first stitch on the other side, which is pretty tight there. Actually, I think I want to go in the back loop or something. Let's try that. Let's try going into that back loop only of that first stitch. Sorry, guys, it's super tight. Here we go. Okay, finally. Then I'm just gonna slip stitch through both loops. One and two. Okay, and then I'm just gonna repeat that all the way across. I know it's so hard to see, 
So insert into the next, um, the next loop of the foundation chain and insert into the next loop of the back loop only of the next row, the other row, and then slip stitch through both. And that's how I am going to slip stitch these together. So go ahead and continue slip stitching the corresponding stitches together and I will meet you at the end of this seam. All right, so I've slip stitched the two ends together and this is what it looks like so far. So I'm just gonna flip this so that that seam is on the inside and I'm gonna use this as my center back. All right, so once you are done slip stitching, we're gonna chain one which we already did. And then we're gonna line this top with single crochets. And normally when we do like a single crochet ribbing, we put one single crochet in the side of every row. But for this one, because there's slip stitches and they're a little bit more tight, if you put one in every row, then it'll actually grow your garment. So we don't wanna do that. We're gonna do it a little bit differently. So in this first space here, I'm gonna put one single crochet, which is in the valley. And in the valley, in between this valley here is like two rows. That's how small the rows are. So I put one single crochet in that row. And now in the next uh, little valley here, and you can kind of see these holes, um, I'm gonna put two single crochets, one, and two because there are two rows in there and then in the next row I'm just gonna put one in the next uh, valley in between the two ridges I'm just gonna put one single crochet and I'm gonna alternate that so then I'm gonna put two in the next one and two and then one single crochet in the next valley and then two in the next valley, one and two, and then one in the next valley. So I'm just going to repeat that all the way down. You also want to make sure that you have an odd amount of stitches in this row when you're done with this row. But go ahead and make your way all the way around and I'll meet you there. Okay, so I made my way all the way around and I have 142, so I'm going to force one more stitch in here for 143, and then I'm going to slip stitch into that very first single crochet of the row, and then I'll fasten off. Alright, so once you have your waistband all finished, now we're going to count stitches to start on our front just to see where you know we start and stop at on the front so I have 143 stitches total my middle stitch my center back stitch is the middle stitch so I'm not gonna count that one so I have like 142 to split up divided by two so I can't really split that in half because I need an even number to go on both sides so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my front not really be an even number, but I'm going to count the same amount of stitches on this side. So what is 70 divided by 2? I'm going to pretend it's 72. So, so I'm going to count 36 stitches on each side going towards the front. So that's my middle stitch. I'm not counting that one. One, two, three, four. I had 143 stitches. So I have 73 stitches on my back side and I have 70 stitches in the front. So everyone's gonna be a little bit different, but what you wanna do is kind of just divide your waistband in half, but put the more part of the stitches in the back like one or two or three more 
can go in the back um, because you do have an odd number it's going to be off a little bit but you just want to make sure that this is in the middle in the back and you have a couple more stitches in the back than you do in the front not too many just uh, one two or three so once you have your um, front marked off now we're going to start working on the front and so we're going to reattach our yarn to the very first stitch and I'm just going to double knot and two okay so now I'm going to insert my hook into that same stitch pull up a loop and chain one and then I'm just going to go across with double crochets so I'm going to put one double crochet in every stitch across until I get to the end of the all right so I've made my way all the way across between the stitch markers in the front and now I'm gonna chain one and fasten off and all of these tails for our color changes are just gonna get weaved over which is nice <laughs> so now we're gonna go to our next color which I think I'm gonna do green next so from here I'm just going to turn and reattach my yarn to this very first stitch here and you can change colors however you like whatever is your favorite method this is just how I'm doing it for this one because we can totally just crochet over everything <laughs> and these knots on the side too I'm gonna do a border up the side as you can see in the picture so these little knots will get covered up as well so from here we're gonna chain one or pull up a loop first and then chain one and then we're just going to put another row of double crochets all the way across oh, gotta... okay so we're just going to continue by crocheting over these tails as we go but just putting one double crochet and every stitch across until we reach the other side All right, so once you finish with your second color, then we're gonna go ahead and chain one and fasten off again. Now I'm gonna pick my next color, which is yellow. So now I'm gonna turn my work and reattach again. okay and now we're going to do the same thing and crochet over our tails so insert your hook pull up a loop chain one and then we're gonna put one double crochet in every stitch across until we get to the other side All right, so this is what it looks like now. So we're gonna chain one and fasten off on this color. 
Now I'm going to switch to my black, back to black. So I'm going to turn and reattach here. And now we are going to pull up a loop, chain one, and do the same. So we're just going to be putting one double crochet in every stitch across like we've been doing. We're just doing color changes. So go ahead and continue working this one double crochet in every stitch across until you get to the other side. Okay, so we're just pretty much gonna keep repeating this one double crochet row with your color changes. And we're gonna consider this first row with uh, our first row of double crochets. Uh, we're gonna consider that row one. So we're gonna keep repeating this pattern until all right, so I skipped ahead and um, so the number of rows that you're gonna need for every size and extra small, you're gonna do 14 rows. So we're counting this first double crochet row as row one. So size extra small, you'll need 14 rows. A small, medium, and large will do 15 rows. And 1X, 2X, and 3X will complete 16 rows. And so once you complete the amount of rows for your size, now we're going to kind of taper in a slight armhole here. So uh, if you're using the same color, you can fasten off if you haven't already. But fasten off and then turn your work to the side that you're going to work on, that you would naturally be working on next. And then um, we're going to count some stitches inward. So for size extra small, you're going to reattach to the fourth chain, one, two, three, four, or the fourth stitch from the right or left if you're left handed. So the fourth and then a small is going to do the fifth, a medium is going to do the sixth stitch, um, a large will do the seventh, one X will do the eighth, two X will do the ninth, and three X will connect to the tenth stitch. Okay, so I've reattached to the sixth stitch in the row. And I'm also gonna mark off where the sixth stitch is at the end of the row so I know where to stop. I'm gonna pull up a loop and chain one. And now I'm gonna double crochet these two stitches together. So I'm gonna yarn over, insert my hook into the same stitch I attached in, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two and don't finish and then yarn over and do that again but in the next stitch so pull up a loop yarn over pull through two and then yarn over and pull through all three and that is a decrease and so I'm gonna put one double crochet in every stitch across until I have uh, just two stitches left in this row so go ahead and put one double crochet every stitch across and I will meet you there okay so I made it to where I have two stitches left before so that my last stitch is the sixth which is the same stitch that I started on on the other side so it's even so I have two stitches left and then we're just going to do another double crochet two together And I'm gonna fasten off if you're using the same color don't fasten off um, and that's my next color so I'm gonna turn and attach my next color all right so after you reattach your yarn 
or even if you have the same yarn just chain one and turn if you're not changing colors so chain one and then we're gonna double crochet two together and the next two stitches so we're gonna yarn over and insert our hook pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over insert into the next stitch pull up a loop and yarn over pull through two and then yarn over pull through three and then we're gonna do kind of just what we just did in the previous row do one double crochet in every stitch across until we have two stitches left All right, so now I have two stitches left and we're just gonna go ahead and decrease in those last two by double crocheting two together again. And if you're using the same color, chain one and turn. If not, you can fasten off here. But um, from here, all the sizes are gonna repeat this little decreasing row two more times okay so now I've finished my decreasing rows and I'm gonna turn and reattach my yarn to my next stitch okay so I reattached my yarn and now I'm gonna pull up a loop and chain one or if you are using the same color just chain one and turn Okay, so for now, for this row, we're going to just put one double crochet in every stitch across. So we're going to stop the decreasing and just go straight up. So go ahead and put one double crochet in every stitch across and I'll meet you at the end of this row. Okay, so I have completed my last row of double crochets straight across, one double crochet in every stitch. And so you're going to repeat this row. So this was, so remember we're counting row one as the first double crochet row above the ribbing. Okay, so... <clears throat> So extra small, you're going to repeat this row until you complete row 20. A small is going to finish row 22. A medium, large, and 1x is going to finish row 24. And um, on 2x and 3x, you will finish row 25. Now you can obviously make this taller or shorter depending on your cup size. I didn't want to really go into cup sizes with this one this time um, but I will say that if you are an extra small with a C cup you might want to do 22 rows if you're a extra small or small with a D or double D cup you might want to do 23 rows or even 24 rows um, and then for size medium, large, and 1X, if you are a double D, you might want to do 25 rows. So <clears throat> I'm actually making a medium that's going to be a double D. So I'm going to do 25 rows starting from this one being row one. I'm going to finish row 25. So go ahead and finish the rows for your size. You can always measure it up against yourself and make sure... Um, this area here is the going to be the lowest point of the top so um, just make sure this is kind of and then this uh, right here on the ribbing right on top of the ribbing is where the belly button is so if you put this on your belly button then you can kind of see where this comes to on you and this is the lowest part in the middle so <clears throat> go ahead and finish the rows for your size. Make your adjustments to this pattern if you need, and I'll meet you there. Also, I just wanted to add, don't forget that this stretches up, so you might want to pull it while you're trying it on. Um, if you just sit it up there, it'll 
it'll probably uh, be a little bit lower but once you actually get it on once you tie it and everything it will stretch upwards so just always keep all right so this is what it looks like now so I've reattached my color if not just chain one and turn okay so from here I'm gonna put one double crochet in the next few stitches so size extra small and small you're gonna put one double crochet in the next 12 stitches medium large and 1x is gonna put a double crochet in the next 14 stitches and 2x and 3x are gonna put one double crochet in the next 16 stitches and now once you've uh, done your double crochets now we're gonna double crochet the next three stitches together so yarn over insert your hook into the next stitch pull up a loop and yarn over and pull through two and then we'll do that two more times in the next two stitches so yarn over insert your hook in the next stitch pull up a loop yarn over and pull through two and one more time yarn over insert into that next stitch pull up a loop and yarn over and pull through two so now you should have four loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all four and I just wanted a more quicker angle here so that's why we did that and then I'm gonna change colors now so I'm gonna chain one and fasten off but if you're not just continue working chain one and turn okay so chain one and turn or reattach your next color and chain one so now we're going to do another decrease so I'm going to double crochet two together this time so I'm going to insert my hook, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two and do that one more time. And then three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. And then we're going to be putting one double crochet in every stitch across. Okay, so when you get here, either chain one and turn or fasten off. And I'll get my neck. And then we're going to put one double crochet in every stitch across until we have two stitches left. And once you have your two stitches left then we're going to do another decrease by double crocheting to the last two stitches together so once you're done double crocheting your two together you can chain one and turn or you can fasten off and um, so I'm going to repeat those last two rows where we started off with the double crochet two together and then this last row we ended with a double crochet two together. I'm going to do those two rows one more time. So I will meet you there. All right, so once you're done with your next set of decreasing, next two set uh next two decreasing rows, now we're going to chain one and turn or attach your new so now we are going to so yeah chain one and turn or change your color and then we're just going to put one double crochet in every stitch across again so i mean if you would like for your strap to be skinnier you can totally decrease a little bit more but um from here we're just going to be putting one double crochet in every stitch across for the next uh, this row and then three more rows after this and then we'll be done with the base of this strap 
So finish this row and then do uh, this row three more times. Okay, so once you're done repeating your rows of no increase, then we're just going to fasten off whether you're changing colors or not. Just fasten off there. And now we're going to um, work on the other strap. So now we're going to turn our work so that uh, we can work our second strap, which will be in the same direction as you worked your first row of the base of the strap. So this time we're going to mirror it. So for small, for extra small and small, you're going to attach to the 15th chain from the, from the left or the right if you're left-handed. Um, and then medium large and 1x will do the 17th chain and uh, 2x and 3x will do the 19th chain to reattach to and so from there we're going to just kind of mirror what we did over here but I'll start it off we can pull up a loop in chain one and then in the first three stitches we're gonna double crochet three together like we did in the on the other side we just had to do the double crochet three together at the end of the row instead of at the beginning so it'll just be mirrored and then we'll put one double crochet in every stitch across until the end of the row and then after you do that first row then we're going to do our next row so chain one and turn or reattach your next color and then we're going to put one double crochet in every stitch across until we have two stitches left. And then we're going to do a double crochet two together in the last two stitches. And then chain one and turn or fasten off your yarn and change colors. And then this is the alternating decrease row where we are going to start off with the double crochet two together. So chain one and turn or start your new color and then we're going to start the row off by double crocheting two together. and then one double crochet in every stitch across until the end of the row. So we're going to alternate, um, we're going to repeat those last two rows one more time each and then we're going to do the straight up rows for four rows. So go ahead and finish this row and then do this row and this row one more time and then we'll do the four rows straight up without any decreases like we did on the other side and I will meet you when we're done with the side of this strap. Okay so once you finish your second strap you'll go ahead and fasten off and we're done with our two bases of straps there and then we're going to work on the bottom of the bikini now. So I'm going to reattach my yarn to this center seam area right there in the middle. All right, so once you're attached to the center back, we're going to line this bottom with single crochets. And we're just doing that because it'll be easier to kind of count your stitches that way instead of counting the ridges. So we're going to do it the same way that we did at the top. So pull up a loop and chain one and then we're going to single crochet into that middle uh, seam area. So just put one single crochet there and this first single crochet is going to be your center back. I'm just going to mark it just so I don't get confused. 
And then we're going to repeat what we did on the top portion of the ribbing. So we're going to go into this next valley here and we'll put two single crochets in between that next valley and make sure you crochet over this tail as you go. So one and two. Okay, two in that next valley and then one in the next. And then two in the next valley, one and two, and then one single crochet in the next. And so it's just like how we did at the top, two in the next valley, and then one in the next. So we're going to go all the way around with that same pattern that we had um, at the top here. And also, um, the only difference between the bottom is we're going to make sure that we have an even amount of stitches. Uh, last time we had an odd amount, but this time you need an even amount. So, like for example, up here I had 143, so down here I'm probably going to just do 142. And so, go ahead and finish that and I'll meet you there. All right, so I made my way all the way around and I did indeed have 142 for mine. So just make sure that you have an even number for this one. And then we're just going to slip stitch into that very first um, single crochet of the row. So go ahead and slip stitch. And then we're going to fasten off. All right, so once you're done, I put my stitch marker back because that's my center back stitch. Um, so what we wanna do now is find our center front amount of stitches. So you wanna make sure that there's the same amount of stitches on both sides of your center piece here. So for a size extra small, you wanna find your middle 35 stitches. A small is gonna find the middle 37. A medium is going to find the middle 41 stitches. A large is going to find the middle 45 stitches. 1x is going to find 47. 2x is going to find 51. And 3x is going to find the middle 55 stitches. So just make sure you have the same amount on your leg hole area. So for example, I'm making a medium and I have my center stitch here and I know that I did 142 stitches so minus this one because it's the center back so I have 141 stitches around minus this middle and then I need to find my middle 41 so I minus uh, 41 stitches and I have a hundred stitches that will be left out of my 41 which means a hundred divided by two I should have 50 stitches on both sides of my stitch markers and 41 in the middle okay so I did find my middle 41 and I indeed had 50 stitches including the ones that are marked so I have 41 in between there so now I'm gonna reattach my yarn to the first stitch inside of my stitch marker so I'm gonna reattach my yarn here so from here, I'm going to pull up a loop and chain one. And in this first row, we're going to double crochet three together in the first three stitches. So the same stitch that I'm in, I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and don't finish and then yarn over insert into the next stitch pull up a loop yarn over pull through two and don't finish and one more time and yarn over and pull through all four loops on your hook and then I'm going to do one double crochet in every stitch across until I have three stitches left. So go ahead and put one double crochet in every stitch and I'll meet you at when we have three stitches left. 
and when you have three stitches left then we're going to double crochet three together again and then close all of those and so from here you'll chain one in turn or change colors if you're changing color okay and this is row two of our kind of of our bikini bottom and so we're going to be repeating row two for a while so chain one in turn or change your color i'm going to pull up a loop and chain one okay so from here what we're going to do is just do regular decreases now so we're going to put a decrease in the first two stitches so i'm going to double crochet two together in the first two stitches and then yarn over and pull through all three loops and then we'll do one double one double crochet in every stitch across and make sure you are crocheting over tails if you're changing colors but one double crochet in every stitch across until we have two stitches left And when you have two stitches left, you're going to do a, another double crochet decrease in the last two stitches. Okay. And so we're just going to be repeating row two for a little while, which is a double crochet decrease in the first two and the last two stitches and one double crochet in every stitch across. And so, and so we're gonna continue doing decreasing rows until we uh, hit a certain number for our size. So for size extra small, you're gonna continue the decreasing row until you finish row 12, which uh, we'll consider this first row of double crochets as row one. So extra small, you'll finish row 12. A small will finish row 13, a medium will finish row 15, a large will finish row 17, 1x will do row 18, 2x will finish row 19, and 3x will finish row 21. So go on ahead and continue that decreasing row just by decreasing um, 2 decreasing by two in the beginning of the row and two at the end of the row and just regular double crochets in the middle and once you reach that row then size sm extra small through 1x you should have nine stitches in this last row and 2x and 3x you should have 11 stitches in that row so from there chain one and turn or change your color Okay, so once you chain one and turn or change your color, now we're going to get to our next repeating step. So what you want to do is put just simply put one double crochet in every stitch across. So extra small through 1x, you should have nine double crochets in this row. And 2x and 3x, you should have 11 double crochets in this row. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, <clears throat> 8, and 9. So just nine double crochets or 11 double crochets in this row. And we're going to repeat this row now. So extra small, you're going to repeat this row until row 18 is finished. Small is going to finish row 19. A medium is going to finish row 21. A large will finish row 24. One X will complete row 25. 
2x will finish row 27 and 3x will finish row 29 and remember our row one is the first row of double crochets for the bikini bottom so you can easily count that up but go ahead and finish the rows for your size and i'll meet you there all right so this is what it looks like now that we went straight for a while and um I'm over the color changes. I'm going to do the rest of the back of mine in black, but I'll try to make sure that the light is good so you can still see what I'm doing. So from here, we're going to chain one and turn. So what we want to do next is start decreasing. So chain one and turn or change colors if you're still doing that. And then insert your hook into the first stitch, pull up a loop, and we'll double crochet two together. And then we'll put one single crochet in every stitch in the middle until we have two stitches left. And then when you have your two stitches left, then we'll do another decrease in those last two like that so we're just starting our decrease and so we are going to continue this decreasing pattern by putting two decreases in the first two stitches and last two stitches and regular double crochets in the middle we're just going to repeat that until we have three stitches left in the row and for extra small that should be row 21 um, small is 22, medium is 24, large is 27, 1x is 28, um, 2x is row 31, and 3x is going to finish row 33. So go ahead and finish your decreases. Okay, so this is what it looks like, and I have three stitches left in my row. So from here, we're going to now work on the skinny part of the thong. So we're going to chain one and turn. And then we're just going to put one single crochet in, uh, uh, in every stitch across. So it should just be three, or I'm sorry, double crochets. One double crochet in every stitch across. So it should just be three double crochets here. One, two, and three. Just like that and then we're gonna chain one and turn and repeat that one so one double crochet in every stitch across for a total of three again just like that and so we're gonna continue repeating just three double crochets for a little while so let's see, so extra small, you're gonna continue repeating this row until you finish row 31. A small is gonna finish row 33. A medium is gonna finish 36. A large is gonna finish row 42. 1x will finish row 44. 2x will finish row 47. And 3x is gonna complete row 51. So go ahead and finish your rows. Okay, so here's what it looks like once you have completed your little skinny rows. And now we're going to start increasing to put a triangle in the back. So go ahead and chain one and turn. And then now we're going to start increasing. So from here we're going to put two double crochets into the first stitch. One and two, and then we'll put one double crochet in the next stitch, and two double crochets in the last stitch. So now we'll have five double crochets total. And then from there we'll chain one and turn, 
and we're essentially just repeating that so we're going to put two double crochets into the first and last stitch and put one double crochet in every stitch across in the middle so two in the first stitch and then one in all of the middle stitches until we have one stitch left and then when you have one stitch left go ahead and put your next increase and we're just going to continue that increasing in the first and last stitch for a few more rows so size extra small you're going to continue increasing until you finish row 36 a small is going to finish row 38 a medium is going to finish row 42 a large will complete row 48 1 X is going to finish row 50 2 X will finish row 54 and 3 X will finish row 58 all right so this is what it looks like now once you're done with your increases so we have a small triangle there and so <clears throat> Let's see so it's gonna fold up like this and then attach there very cute so what we want to do now is sizes extra small and small you should have 13 double crochets in this row or 13 stitches in this row medium large and 1x you should have 15 double crochets in this row and then um, 2x and 3x you should have 17 double crochets in this row so you want to find your middle 13 15 or 17 stitches in the center back make sure your center back is the center stitch and then we're gonna sew you can sew crochet or slip uh, single crochet or slip stitch this to your band here but we're going to make sure we do it from the inside so turn your um we're going to turn our garment inside out all right so you turn it inside out and find your middle two stitches or your middle 13 15 and 17 stitches and then we're going to crochet single crochet slip stitch or you can cut this off and sew these together i think i'm just going to slip stitch them together so i have this inside out oops wrong hook so i'm gonna chain one and insert my hook into the first stitch of the band and then the first stitch of the top of the thong and slip stitch and I'm not gonna do my slip stitches like mega tight because um, this is still a stretchy part and I want to retain the stretch so I'm just gonna loosely slip stitch and not pull it super tight so yeah go ahead and finish crocheting or sewing your band to the top of the thong and I will meet you there all right and this is what it looks like once you slip stitch on the inside or crochet it together or sew it together and so now I'm just going to go ahead and fasten off. So I already chained one and I'm just going to fasten off and sew that in later. And now I'm going to turn our swimsuit on the right side. And so now we are going to do our border. I'll start on the leg hole borders. So I'm going to reattach my yarn to um, 
to either this corner so that I can work along the thong or I'll attach it to this corner so I can work along the thong. So if you're left-handed, it'll be flipped, um, but you want to attach it not so that you're working on the ribbing. You want to go down the thong only and not go on the ribbing. So I'm going to reattach here with a double knot and we are definitely going to be crocheting over this tail as we go one two okay so now i'm going to pull up a loop and chain one and then i'm just going to single crochet in the same stitch and I'm going to count that as the side of this row. And so these are double crochet heights. So I'm going to put two double crochets in the side of every row. So that's the first one for the first row. And here's my second one. And I'm just going to repeat that all the way down and put two double crochets in the side of every row as best as I can one and two one and two so I'm going to continue putting two double crochets in the side of every row all the way around until I reach my ribbing okay so I made my way all the way around um, to the other side of the ribbing and all I'm gonna do now is just slip stitch into um, either this corner stitch or the first stitch whichever one you think looks better I think it'll look better here so just slip stitch in there and then fasten off and depending on which side you started on now we're going to reattach our yarn to the opposite corner so that we can work along the other side going the other way and kind of just mirror what we did so and I made my way all the way around and I'm gonna slip stitch not into the corner but into the very first stitch of the ribbing I just think it looks better and then I'm gonna fasten off And this is what the front now looks like. Pretty neat. And the back, I mean, I still got all those strings in there, but looks pretty neat. So now we're gonna start on the border and straps for the top. So now we're gonna turn to the front side with the right side facing out. And we're gonna turn so that we can attach our yarn to uh, one stitch of the ribbing over from the corner so that we can work along the front side of our garment so if you're left-handed you'll be on the other side pull up a loop chain one and then I'm going to do the same by just putting um, two single crochets in the side of every row and I'm going to do that. Ooh, some of these are tight. So, two single crochets in the side of every row. And I'm going to continue doing that until I get to this corner. So, I'll meet you at this corner. All right, so I'm almost at the corner. And now I'm just going to put two more single crochets in the side of that last double crochet row and then when I get to my corner stitch which it looks like I actually only fit it one let's see try to put one a little below and now I'm at the corner stitch and I'm gonna put three single crochets in the corner so one two Three, and that's going to turn my corner so now I can go this way and now I'll put one single crochet in every stitch one two three four five 
two, three, four. So that just depends on how many you have there. I'll put one single crochet in this corner stitch and then again we'll be working on the sides of rows so now we can put two single crochets in the side of every row like we've been doing and I'm gonna do that until I get to my next corner and if you are changing colors, I am not going to um, crochet over all these tails up in the armhole because it'll make this border too thick. It's just too many. But they're already crocheted in, so I'm just going to push them to the back that way and continue crocheting like they're not even there. Or you can cut them right now. Either way, I just wanted to note that I'm not going to crochet over those because I don't want this to get too bulky all right so once you reach your top corner so all of the tails that are like fastened off tails I'm gonna um, crochet over those but as for the ones that are like already in I'm not going to so I am gonna crochet over this top tail here but when you reach the top go ahead and put three double crochets in that top stitch in that corner stitch one two and three and then when you reach the top then we'll be putting one single crochet in every stitch across and so this is how we are doing the first part of our border so you can see every corner stitch is going to get three uh, single crochets so you got one two three and four more corners so all of those corner stitches are going to get three single crochets and then the side of every row is going to get uh, two single crochets in the side of every row and then whenever you come across a place where the stitches are um, just normal stitches then you'll just be putting one single crochet in every stitch so go ahead and follow those rules and make your way all the way around and I'll meet you back at the other side of the top and one last thing when I get to this middle area so I'm kind of like in this middle area um, I really didn't like how just going one 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 looked I kind of liked it better if I uh, decreased these two stitches so it just gave me a more curved look than a sharp corner and that's kind of what I wanted in the front is more of a curved look so I just wanted to throw that in there as well and so when I get to the other uh, part that looks the same, I'm going to decrease these two stitches. And then I'm going to go straight into my first of the two stitches, um, first of the two single crochets in the side of this row. So I just wanted to throw that out there. It's not like super important, but I thought it looked a little bit better that way. So go ahead and finish the rest of your border. All right, so I made my way all the way around. And now we're going to slip stitch into that very first stitch of the ribbing. Slip stitch there and then fasten off. Okay, so once you fasten off, we're gonna do the second to last part. We're gonna reattach the yarn. So we're gonna have the right side facing us, not the inside, but the outside of the garment facing us. And then we're gonna attach to the corner stitch of the armhole where we can work downwards towards the waistband so if you're left-handed it would be this side if you're right-handed it would be this side 
but we are going to find the corner stitch. I know you can't see mine because it's black, but find the corner stitch there and reattach your border yarn. Okay, we're not gonna be able to crochet over that one. Um, but what we are doing is we're gonna chain one and then single crochet in the same stitch and then we'll chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Chain five and then skip the next stitch and single crochet in the next stitch. Chain five, skip a stitch and single crochet in the next single crochet. Chain five and single crochet, skip a stitch and single crochet in the next single crochet. So that is all we are doing for this part. These are going to be the little holes that we're going to be able to weave in our. Um, ties. So we're going to chain five, skip one, single crochet in the next stitch, and we're going to do that until we reach this bottom corner here. All right, so I made my way all the way down the edge here, and I can see I have two stitches left, but I want a single crochet in the corner. So in this corner, I'm going to chain five, three, four, five, and then skip two instead of one, just so I can get in that corner there. I'm going to get in this corner actually. All right. So now we are at the back side of the ribbing and what we're going to do now is chain five, three, four, five, and continue. Skip one and single crochet in the next single crochet, chain five, and skip the next stitch and single crochet in the next single crochet. So we're just going to continue that little pattern there all the way across around with that same stitch pattern until we reach the corner stitch of the other side. All right so I've made my way all the way around and now I'm at the front or the other side and I'm just going to put a single crochet in that corner stitch on the other side. So I chained five. Now let me make sure I got the actual corner, which I think is this one. And single crochet in that corner stitch and then fasten off. Okay, so I just went on ahead and cleaned up all my strings just so I can get a better visual of what I'm doing. But now we're going to do our last step, which is the ties. So we're going to have two ties, one that's shorter that goes around the neck that comes from the middle and one that's longer that goes around the back. A slip knot. And then so size small, extra small and small, you can chain out 125 chains. A medium and large can do 140. 1X can chain out 150. And 2 and 3X can chain out 160. All right, so once you chain out your chain for your size, we'll grab our bikini again. And we're going to attach it to the top straps. Now this strap is the inner strap that's a shorter strap. And then we're going to work our way out to the outer strap. So we're not going to attach it to this one. We're going to attach it to this corner stitch here in the inner strap. So find out of your three, find your corner stitch. 
And then we're gonna single crochet this strap to that corner stitch and then put one single crochet in every stitch across until we reach the next corner. All right, so I have made my way across with single crochets and now we're gonna chain out our longer chain which is gonna tie around the back side of the bikini. So size small and extra small can chain out 260 chains. A medium and a large can chain out 280 chains. 1X can chain out 300 chains. 2X can do 320 chains. And a th I'm sorry, 2X can do 320 and 3X can chain out 340. So go ahead and chain out your chain for your size. All right, and once you chain out your chain for your size, go ahead and fasten off. And so we have our shorter chain on the inside to go around the neck and the longer chain to go around the back on the outside. So we're just going to mirror that and we're going to start off with the outer chain and single crochet here. So the outer chain was 260. 280, 300, 320, or 340, whatever you did over here. Single crochet here, single crochet to the next corner, and then chain out um, your inner chain, which was 125 for small and extra small, um, 140 for medium and large, 150 for 1x, 160 for 2x and 3x, and then fasten off. All right, so once you are done uh, finishing both ties, we're going to go ahead and lace the back up. So the two middle ones go around the neck, and then we can turn this to the back side. And the two outer ones go to the back. So I'm going to take this outer strap on the left and secure it on the right into this top loop here and give me a bigger hook to do this just so I don't nick my thing and so I'm not going to lace it back and forth we're going straight down through here so I'm going to I came from the top I'm going to turn it on the side because it's easier for me so I'm just going to go through every loop here I'm just going to go through one loop, go through the next on the other side. So I'm going to go do this all the way down until I get more towards the middle here. All right, so yeah, I took this strap and I weaved it all the way around. And actually, I did go all the way to, I had a stitch in the middle, so I went all the way to the, as far as I could without crossing the middle. So now I'm going to take my other long strap and repeat for the other side and weave this on down to um, the other middle loop. And once you are done um, lacing up your straps, you are good to go. So uh, I'm going to actually just pop some tassels on the bottom of my strings and that's all I'm doing after this which I do have a tassel video, a quick tassel video, if you need to know how to put those on. But other than that, we are done. So I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. It's a little bit forgivable because of this open back and you can cinch the back. Um, but yeah, it was a lot of fun making this bikini for my friend. I hope she likes it. And um, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye. And once you're done weaving in your straps, you are pretty much good to go. Um, yeah, so this was a really fun and easy tutorial to make. Quite long, and also the... Uh, 
the slip stitch ribbing was new for me this was my first time doing that so that was a little bit difficult as well but I really enjoyed making this it was a challenging but very fun bikini to make I want to make it one more time in a solid color just to see how I would like that I think it would be really pretty um, and then the last thing I'm gonna do all together is just pop some tassels at the bottom for just some more cleaner finish um, I do have a tassel video if you need to know how to make those and it should be popped up on the screen somewhere over here so you can click on that if you want to add tassels as well but other than that we are done so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial as much as I did um, please don't forget to like subscribe hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos and I will catch you on the next video bye